Hello again, friends. As you can see, a new, what is this, pop filter I just bought and hope I improved the quality of the audio in my videos a little bit. I did this all for you. I hope you enjoy it. I hope this works. <laughs> haven't, haven't tested it before, so really do hope it makes the audio quality better for you to enjoy better the videos of Arctic Money. But that's about my audio technology. Let's go to the actual topic of the video. In this short episode, I will include a summary and a video suggestion for you to check out Value Investing with Sven Carlin, PhD's recently uploaded video, Copper Mining Stocks Investment Guide, SIA Natural Resources Conference. On top of uranium, copper is a commodity I, play, I pay really close attention to. I was already able to make great profits in the Corona dip with London Mining when it happened. London Mining is a copper miner. Um, uh, and this opportunity, I was led to this opportunity by no other than Sven Carlin. So that's why I think it's appropriate for me to give a video suggestion for you to go check out Sven's, Sven's videos and Sven's channel. Uh, when Sven talks about copper, I listen and probably you should too if your investment in copper as an investment case. In this video, Sven presents the whole copper case very nicely with risks and rewards related to it. So go check it out. I will next summarize very briefly the investment case with copper and introduce some topics. Sven goes more in depth than in his video. So go check out Sven's video if the summary uh, interests you and makes, makes any sense to you what I'm going to say next. So let's go. Copper has big structural tailwinds for the future. Old industries that require copper are construction, electrical networks, consumer goods, industrial machinery and transportation. On top of these, we have many new emerging technologies that require lots of copper, so demand increases in the future. These technologies are solar, wind, energy storage, electric vehicles and charging infrastructure. Copper is a very cyclical commodity. High prices lead to high investments, low prices to low investments. As with any commodity, it is a game of supply and demand. Speculators also play with copper. They create more volatility to prices, which can present opportunities for us investors. Some questions you want to know uh, answers to are, before investing in any copper miner, I mean, are how long are the lives of the mines you own? Where are they located and under which jurisdiction? What are their costs to mine and debt of the mining companies themselves? All this will then lead to possible risks and rewards of any given miner, any given investment case in copper. One could also consider diversification with a few copper miners to have a little risk protection if something unexpected would happen to any one given mine of any given copper miner that owns it. There is not unlimited amount of copper to be mined cheaply in the world, so price of copper must go up in the future. Copper prices will be pushed up due to 1. Limited cheap supply and cost inflation. It is more expensive to mine copper with higher oil prices now at the moment. 2. Regulations and taxes can push the price of copper higher. And 3. ESG issues with permits to mine can cost more in the future, thus push the price even higher. In the last part of the video, Sven also discusses when could be the right time to invest in copper and what price copper should be so that the investment would have sufficient margin of safety. In a nutshell, this is what's up with the co uh, copper as an investment case. Now go watch Sven's video if this interests you and begin your own research from there. No need for me to do a longer video when Sven has put up such a nice video about the copper as an investment case. Uh, go check it out and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.